Apex Legends is without a doubt one of the biggest surprises in the gaming industry during recent times. Hitting the industry like a rocket in the last couple of weeks, the game has topped the Twitch viewership charts, hit 8 figure account creations and has received universal positive acclaim. We're going to take a quick look at 10 things you may not know about Apex Legends. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of my upcoming content. Apex Legends is the first game in the history of the industry to release as it was announced. This extremely risky marketing move has been carried out in the tech industry but has never been carried out by a games developer. The stars align for Apex and I worry that this success may lead to others to try and replicate the game's release hype but may not yield similar results for them. In addition to the previous point, it's almost impossible to keep a game secret during development. EA and Respawn somehow manage this not even alluding to a secret project or an unnamed game. The game has seemingly blended two of the most popular genres of FPS into one, to create something new and unique. The addition of the battle royal genre, alongside the hero class shooter genre, has meshed well together for a new experience for many players. Apex Legends is created by Respawn, the developers of Titanfall and Titanfall 2. While it's not extremely obvious due to the lack of giant robots, wall running and smart pistols, Apex Legends is set in the same world as Titanfall and can be viewed as a spiritual successor to Titanfall 2. Squad based game types have generally always been between 4 to 6 players in competitive game modes. Very few games have gone below this number as it can be difficult to develop enough team synergy and cohesion with only 3 players. Shoot Mania was one of the only games to use a 3 man squad party size and, well, we all know how that panned out for them. Titanfall 3 may still be coming. Respawn CEO Vince Zampella has tweeted out that more Titanfall is coming later this year, while many are hoping this is another stellar, single player Titanfall experience, akin to that delivered in Titanfall 2. This remains to be seen, as Respawn are also releasing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order later in 2019, and three fully fledged games for the studio may be a little ambitious. Let's just hope it's not some crappy mobile game. The world is deceptively detailed and content rich. Each character has a backstory and a place within the world around Apex Legends. The games themselves have a reason for existing and although not revealed yet, I'm sure it will feed into some Titanfall game lore. It wouldn't surprise me if we see a number of animated shorts that further flesh out the characters and world like Blizzard have done with Overwatch. More maps are coming. It was a great sign when I booted up Apex Legends for the first time and saw that the map had a name. Unlike Fortnite, it would appear that more maps are coming eventually, which will help to keep the game fresh and interesting as time goes on. Cross-platform support is likely coming to the game. Like Fortnite, it is likely that Respawn will follow the route and allow for PS4, Xbox One and PC players to compete together for those wins. Who knows, we may even get a Switch port. New Legends are coming. According to the 2019 Apex Legends roadmap, we will see new guns, new loot and most importantly new legends join the game as time goes on. We can expect new legends to appear in Season 2 which will start in June, perhaps they'll even introduce one in Season 1 starting in March.